Hey guys, so Moon Knight's first episode is out. It's here, it's on Disney Plus, and I'm excited to give you my spoiler-filled review of episode one of Moon Knight. Let's get into it, let's talk about it. But before we do, if this is your first time here, I'd love it if you take one second and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more videos like this one, okay? Let's talk Moon Knight, baby! Hey, Tessa from Mama's Geeky here. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. All right, guys, so if you saw my spoiler-free review yesterday, then you know I am obsessed with Moon Knight. So I'm so excited to be able to talk spoilers with you guys because let me tell you, this first episode completely blew my mind. I love so much about it. Obviously, Oscar Isaac is absolutely phenomenal and so brilliant in this role. I love how he plays several different characters and so well like the way he completely changes i mean yes i get it he's an actor he obviously can play several different roles without an issue and that is just perfectly showcased in this episode but another thing i really love about this episode is all of the horror and the thriller like this one had me jumping out of my skin okay especially as we get to the end so let's talk about this episode in detail you guys it kicks right off with you know stephen grant he just he ties himself to his bed because his body wants to get up in the middle of the night and walk around and he has no idea why and then we find out in this episode, which I think was absolutely perfect to not make us wait too much longer, that he has obviously DID. He has this dissociative identity disorder. And while it's not really 100% clear, I don't think for those who haven't read the comics or already know this about this character, we know that something is going on. And for some reason, someone else is inhabiting his body. I mean, we have that moment where he wakes up in the grass, his jaw is cracked. The popping noise it makes when he puts it back together is disgusting, but awesome, but disgusting. I mean, and he has no idea what's going on. These people start shooting at him. He's got this Egyptian god talking to him and saying the idiot's here. And he's like, what is happening? I mean, of course, we also get his first interaction with Ethan Hawke's character, Arthur Harrow here, where he's trying to give him that scarab and he can't. The way he handles that scene, it's so good. I love he's sitting there pulling up his fingers, saying maybe it was the altitude. He doesn't know what's going on. He can't hand it to him. It is so perfect how Oscar Isaac makes you realize, like, Stephen Grant has no idea what is going on. And I feel like that helps the audience realize, like, we have no idea kind of what's going on. The way it flashes, like the da -da 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 flashing as it changes between um, Stephen and Mark is absolutely brilliant. I think that's phenomenal. I love all the moments that it happens too. Like, and what happens when he comes back? Like all of a sudden Stephen's there and he's got this gun in his hands. What's going on? The guy's shot in the head behind him. Like, let's talk about all the brutality and the blood. Uh, when he snaps back into Stephen that one time and he's holding the scarab and there's blood all over his hand. Like, I'm so glad that Marvel did not shy away from the blood and the brutality in this series because it really truly deserves it. Now, another thing I really, really enjoyed about this was the little bits of comedy, like the little bits that we get, you know, as he's talking um, just with his his people at work, his coworkers, uh, you get the, the sense that obviously he's missing days here. Like, I thought that was a brilliant way to do it when he's going to this date and he's sitting there like, oh, last time I knew, Friday comes after Thursday. And she's like, it's, Still Sunday, even if Friday comes after Thursday. I thought that was a little bit funny, made me chuckle a little bit, but it also helps you realize like, oh, this guy can go away for days and he doesn't realize that he's lost his body, okay? We get the thing with the fish, okay? That's another brilliant little thing, right? Um, he has a fish with one, with one fin and he goes to wake up, he wakes up so he thinks like just the next morning and the fish has two fins and he's like, this is weird. What's happening? Takes it to the pet store and the pet lady, pet store lady's like, oh, when you here yesterday, I already told you they all have two fins. Like it's so bizarre and it makes you go, what the heck is going on? And like, you can tell it confuses Steven, uh, which I thought is a great, it's just a great way to layer everything in that he's proved that he's losing days that this other person has full consciousness of his body at times, full control of his body. I think it's absolutely brilliant the way this series is done. And the first episode 
really truly is phenomenal and then of course you get to the end which is probably my favorite part of the entire episode uh when of course we do finally see moon knight come out i think it was brilliant to make that the last shot very very smart uh, but you see oscar arguing with himself right you see mark and steven arguing i can save us you just got to give me the body let me get the body you get this jackal running after them which doesn't look a hundred percent fantastic but it looks pretty freaking scary uh obviously it's supposed to look a little fake right like it's jackals don't i mean this thing doesn't really exist so to see it like that is it's insane and it was scary it was a little bit terrifying and i love the fight how you know you see that mark is going to take over and then you go to the hallway and then you're seeing the jackal like try to get out of the bathroom and he's pulling him back in. Like just all of these decisions, these editing decisions are so brilliant and just take it to the next level for me. It gives us that that thriller and that horror vibe. So best way to kick off the series, absolutely all in kind of a what's going on. This is crazy. And then of course you get to see Mark as Moon Knight. You get to see that outfit. And, you know, you can't complain because it looks freaking amazing. You guys let me know what you thought about episode one of Moon Knight down below in the comments. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos like this one. You guys can follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at Mama's Geeky over there. M-A-M-A-S-G-E-E-K-Y. You can also check me out at mamasgeeky.com. Thanks. Thank you so much to all of my monetary supporters, my members here on YouTube, as well as my patrons. If you haven't joined yet, please consider doing so. We have some really awesome perks, including a monthly Zoom meeting where we get to talk face to face. Thank you again to everyone who supports me.